Hey everybody, George Stanley here. 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 Hey everybody. Okay, let me just bring up the chat room. Can everybody hear me all right? Hey, Mark. How you doing? Excellent. So, uh, let, let me uh, talk about the schedule. I'm going to... Uh, tab away from the chat there for a sec. So um, the way I see the the schedule working is by channels, <clears throat> and so channels can compete with each other. And uh, you know, for for example, at at nine a.m. here, you can see. Um, let me see if I can show the mouse. There we go. So at 9 a.m., there could be one presentation in uh, the agorism channel and another in the peaceful evolution and another in food sovereignty. And so we could have channels in competition. And um, each channel would, uh, you know, ideally broadcast from the same place, from the same page. So, for example, on the website, we have uh, pages, a page for each of the channels. So right now, the browser is showing the Peaceful Evolution channel. And so uh, ideally, all the uh, different presentations for the channel over the three days would, uh, would be viewable right here. And that way, people, and it, there's a short URL. So any channel, so you could go agora.io. I guess you can't see that, but agora.io slash evolution will lead you to um, to this page. So it's it's an easy place, it's an easy way to have all the um, different presentations about that on a on a, any given theme connected or at least in the same spot. So um, you know if somebody doesn't really care about uh, the politics stuff or the agorism, or the peaceful, whatever, and they just care about food sovereignty, then they can come to the website, look up food sovereignty, click, and then just watch that channel. And another benefit is, <clears throat> since it all happens in one place, the person who's running the channel can, um, you know, since the schedule, let's see, let's go back to the schedule. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so, so the schedule, it starts at, each presentation starts at, on the hour and runs for 45 minutes. The schedule doesn't show that. But in those uh, 15 minutes um, remaining in the hour, the, the person running the channel can run ads. So, uh, you know, for example, um, somebody who's selling uh, organic seeds, could uh, record a like a five minute ad and that could get run in the channel while people are waiting for the next presentation to start and then you could charge for that and so that's a way to make money um, that's uh, does that make sense to everybody who is watching and so I, I've I've expanded the website a bit now. Um, you know, if you go, if you just go to agora.io, it'll redirect you to the Etienne page. And uh, there's some more information here um, about how to get involved, how it works, why it's important. Um, and you know, you can click through to the schedule to a list of prominent speakers, to the sponsors, and I'm thinking there's going to be two kinds of sponsors. One kind will be the ones that will be handled at the channel level, and they'll, they'll be the kind that can run, you know, you can run advertisements. And then another kind will be the, the event-wide sponsors. 
And so right up here on the side, on every page of the website, they can place their logo with a link back to their website. Um, and that those uh, the funds earned from that will be used to um, cover expenses and uh, hopefully there'll be some kind of profit there for the people who are running the whole event, which so far is, um, you know, we're just focus, you know, keeping the website going and uh, publicity and stuff like that. Um, somebody was helping me with that at the beginning, but so far it's just um, me, of course, with a lot of help from uh, folks like you, Mark, who are giving me a lot of great ideas. Um, the tech support section um, now has uh, a lot of information. It's not very well organized, but basically, um, and there's information or links here on how to stream from the different uh, platforms, Mac, Windows, and uh, Linux. And so basically, after an analysis and whatnot, I came to the same conclusion that other people had already come to. I'm a little slow. That Justin TV is going to be the best uh, platform for us, uh, at least for this first one, because it's free and it doesn't have the obnoxious ads. So getting back to this front page, so there are uh, forums. There's a link to the forums. Uh, how to participate. There's just the information about the roles there. I'm looking to make videos about all these different topics to uh, explain how it works to people. Channels. So far I've got these channels, mostly as placeholders. Got to see, um, you know, who's going to be giving presentations and, uh, you know, before we can see how many channels we can handle, how to make money, the meetups, and Mark's uh, brainstorming wiki. And then, uh, so you can uh, mouse over the uh, at the end entry in the navigation menu and get all these different uh, things, plus the Twitter stream. So while the um, the conference is going on, people can uh, post messages to Twitter. Some present this might uh, work. Some present people who are making presentations might find this more advantageous than a text chat is they can post messages to Twitter with their questions and whatnot and tag it with uh, the hash mark and then Agra IO and that uh, and as long as it's tagged with uh, with hash mark Agra IO it's called a hashtag as long as it's the message contains that it'll show up in this stream and the stream will continually update so you can follow here what people are saying about that. And on a case-by-case -case basis, maybe each talk or each channel could have its own hashtag. And uh, I can help embed that stream, that particular stream, at each channel's page, which you can find up here. Just mouse over channels, and you can go to each uh, channel's page, where which can be home base for the channel. Uh, it's got the video. It's got the chat. And we can put a Twitter stream here, uh, links, um, whatever. You know, each channel, you know, I'm kind of looking at it this way. Each channel organizer is kind of, um, you know, like, I don't know, it's pretty autonomous. And hopefully there'll be some competition between channels. And the channel person has a lot of control here channel organizer uh, you know you could even host your channel somewhere else it doesn't have to be on this website of course it will be advantageous to keep it on the website of course the blog the about page forums um, and so for each of these topics I'm going to be making uh, videos to explain this more and uh, apparently uh, Ethan who's been working on this has um, seven speakers lined up and I haven't lined up anybody yet. So um, once I get the information more organized and how, you know, because when you go to a speaker, like, well, how do I do it? And so once I have more of that information organized, I'm going to start send out some more uh, invitations. The uh, people from the Republican Liberty Caucus um, expressed an interest. I contacted them, an, an interest about having their, ch their own channel. Because, you know, even though this is an experiment in... Um, uh, I mean, it's an experiment in liberty, but it's, for me, liberty is practically the same thing as anarchism. 
And so, since it, it's an, even though it's an experiment in anarchism, and um, uh, I mean, there's still space for people who aren't anarchists to participate and have their own channel. And he, since each channel is rather autonomous, you know, it's no no problem. So, a, a, any questions about that? Seems like it's just you and me today, Mark. Maybe we've got uh, brainstorming overload. And today I'm using. Um, um, I'm using Cam Twist on a Mac to broadcast to put my um, to put my picture in a picture there, and uh, and also I'm using that with the um, let's see, I'll show you the Cam Twist window. That's the Cam Twist window, and so I'm using um, so that that this one it. Puts the desktop up there. Uh, this is this puts the picture in a picture. So if I turn this off, my picture goes away. If I turn the desktop off, the desktop goes away. Um, this one does the scrolling text at the bottom. And if you s take a look at uh, up top here, there's the uh, Agorio um, logo, I guess you could call it. And uh, I put that up there too. So there's a lot of things you can do with Cam Twist if you're on the Mac, um, and it's free, and it, it makes your presentation a little more interesting. Uh, you can even show um, videos from YouTube in the middle of your presentation. <clears throat> Let me get uh, back to Chrome here. Oh, the Tannehills were... And with uh, a free utility called Soundflower, you can... You should be hearing me and the video, and so you can uh, put together uh, sources of sound on the desktop together with your own voice. Looks like my camera froze. Oh, there we go. And so you can put that together and uh, you know make your presentation even more dynamic. No, you still need the. Um, the webcam driver that's that's more basic but this the what cam twist enables you to do is put together your uh your webcam various audio sources well actually no it doesn't handle the audio but your webcam your desktop excuse me and other pictures and uh, special effects and stuff like that it enables you to put all that together in one video feed and so although I'm using Wirecast right now which is the $450 desktop software um, you know that enables me to switch between shots and uh, stuff um, you can use cam twist which is free with just the uh, justin.tv Yes, exactly. That's right. That's right. Justin T TV thinks Cam Twist is your webcam. Exactly. So, um, th what do you think about that, Mark? Does that is the whole channel and the, the different kinds of sponsors thing? Does that make sense to you? What do you mean if it will send screenshots? Oh, yeah, you'll need something like that because uh, Justin dot the 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 web interface, you know, the web page on Justin TV where you can broadcast from, it only recognizes cameras or things that pretend to be cameras. 
What are you on Windows or Linux or what? Sure. 